Steel is a Hunter Garcia composition that was officially released on Jerry's 1972 self-titled album. Deal falls into a subset of dead songs that seem to be set in the same time and place, the American West pre-automobile. Deal is an 18-bar chord progression that is fairly complex, which makes soloing over it quite difficult, especially at very fast tempos, which Jerry does with flying colors. The song is in the key of A and features uh, a number of non-diatonic chords, chords that are found outside the key of A major. It starts off with a two-bar intro that, depending on the show, can be repeated just a couple times or can be, re- can be vamped on for quite a while. Next, we have the verse. The verse starts with one bar of A, then one bar of C sharp 7, then we have a half a bar of F sharp minor, a half a bar of A, a half a bar of D7, and a half a bar of E flat diminished 7 or D sharp diminished 7. Note that E flat diminished 7 and D sharp diminished 7 are the same chords, it's just an enharmonic spelling, which means a different spelling for the same set of notes. Then we have a bar of A, another half bar of A, a half bar of F sharp, then we have a full bar of B, and a full bar of D. All right, the next four bars are a repeat of the first four bars of the verse, and then we have what is officially the chorus, which is one bar of A, half a bar of G, and a half a bar of D, and those two bars are repeated. Then we have two bars of A, which serve as an interlude between the chorus and the next verse. And these two bars are present during the solos as well. All right, in this lesson, we're going to take a look at the intro and rhythm part for Deal. This is Jerry Garcia's part, and we're employing a fingerstyle approach to this. So here is the intro. All right, so with our left or fretting hand, we start off by sliding from the first frets of the fourth and third strings into the second frets of those two strings. With my picking hand or my right hand, I'm going to be using my index and middle finger. As you know, Jerry didn't have full use of his middle finger, so he used his index and his ring finger, but I'll be using these two fingers for this. So as we slide into the second frets of the fourth and third strings, we're gonna play the open fifth string with our thumb of our right or picking hand. So we have, then we follow that with the second frets of the fourth and third strings again. And then third fret of the fifth string, fourth fret of the fifth string. Then again, we play the second fret to the fourth and third strings, followed by an open fifth string. Then we're going to play hammer on from the second fret of the fourth string to the fourth fret of the fourth string. With my picking hand, I use my index finger for that. And then we're going to play the second fret of the third string, and I'm picking that with the middle finger of my picking hand. So, so far we have Alright, after we play the second fret of the third string, we're going to play an open fifth string with our thumb on our picking hand, and then the second frets of the fourth and third strings. Then with our thumb, we're gonna play third fret of the fifth string to fourth fret of the fifth string. <clears throat> then we play the second frets of the fourth and third strings again, followed by the open fifth string. Then on the fourth string, we're going to play a pull off from the fifth to the fourth fret. I'm using my index finger on my right hand to play that. 
and then the second fret of the fourth string. So we have. All right, a couple variations you can play is instead of immediately playing open fifth string to the second frets of the fourth and third string, you can play that fifth string twice. So it'd be. But that gets a little tougher when the tempo really gets up there. In the earlier versions of Deal, sometimes he would, for that pull-off part, he would um, play the fifth frets of the fourth and third strings and slide down to the fourth frets of those two strings and then play the second fret of those two strings. So we would have... But other than that, that's basically it. You just come up with your own variations. Let me play it very slowly for you. <clears throat> All right, so for the verse, we start off with an A chord and with our right hand, we're kind of getting this. All right, our second chord is a C sharp seven. So we're playing our ring finger on the fourth fret of the fifth string, our middle finger on the third fret of the fourth string. Then we have our ring finger on the fourth fret of the third string and our index finger on the second fret of the second string. So we're gonna alternate between the bass notes of the fourth fret on the fifth string and fourth fret on the sixth string. So fourth fret on the fifth and fourth fret on the sixth string. So our first two chords. Then we have an F sharp minor chord played with our uh, thumb over on the sixth string. And we have the same type of picking pattern. So using my index and middle finger to play the fourth and third string and the thumb on the bass note. Then we have an A chord, and Jerry plays it like this. So he has his uh, middle finger on the um, second fret of the fourth string, index on the second fret of the third, and um, ring on the second fret of the second string. So that gets us in position for the next chord, which is a D7. So we have... All right, so we have an E flat diminished seven chord, or you can call it a D sharp diminished seven. So if you take a look at this chord, I mean, it's basically your D seven chord, but with um, the first fret of the fourth string instead of an open fourth string. So, so far we have slide into the second frets of the second and third strings and then play that open fifth string. So I don't think this is necessarily something Jerry did, but I kind of like to add these bass note walk downs. I mean, it sounds great if you're playing it by yourself or even in a band situation, it just depends because you have, you have too many people in that lower register. 
I would just hang out on the A. But if it's just you or if it's you and a few people and there's really not too much going on in the bass, I think it sounds nice to add that. So then we have a B chord. So it's the second fret of the fifth string, fourth fret to the fourth and third strings. So sometimes Jerry just plays. And sometimes he kind of arpeggiates them. And then you move that up to the fifth string, I mean the fifth fret, and you have a D chord. So we have this so far. All right, back to an A chord and then C sharp seven. So the first two repeat. And again, the F sharp minor to A, D7 to E flat diminished seven, all that's the same. And then we have, so A, then G, D. All right, so let's do that again slowly. And that A to G to D is the chorus section. It just lasts. And then we have this little interlude, two bar interlude between that and the next verse. So we have All right, if you enjoyed this lesson, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and uh, check out some of these other deal lessons. I've got the uh, Cornell 5877 show solo for you, so go check that out. All right, talk to you next time.